Let's gather some intelligence for headquarters. We'll certainly make some hedge turn. Let's get back to headquarters. Nice bonfire you lit up today, comrades. That should keep us warm most of the winter. By controlling North Africa, the Axis powers would have a better chance of holding the Mediterranean, now the epicenter of the war. Unfortunately for Italian dictator Benito Mussolini, his army is ill-prepared to withstand the British forces in the region. Hitler, fearful that more losses in Africa would jeopardize his efforts on the Russian front, sends General Rommel and his Africa Corps to clean up the mess. By 1942, the Allies decide that the best way to break the Axis powers back is to create another front. An Operation Torch is born of British and American troops. A well-supported, coordinated push through enemy lines, depleting and destroying fuel, food, and equipment would mean the eventual fall of the Third Reich in Africa, weakening Axis aggression throughout the world. All goes as planned. And by January 1943, British General Montgomery's Eighth Army has Rommel and his troops on the run, scrambling to make their valiant last stand at the Marath Line. My wife finally wrote saying, Edward Carlyle, just asked to do something else. So I did. It turns out having a background in teaching chemistry can get you out of a desk job pretty quick if you have a mind to it. I knew nothing of Popsky's private army or its ties to the desert rats until I was in training. This sabotage platoon's philosophy is lightning fast strikes and massive explosions deep behind enemy lines. It's gratifying to know that every time we light up a fuel depot or munitions dump, we're stalling Rommel's tanks and helping those poor blighters on the front lines. It may not be fighting fair, but the Germans have hardly fought fair in Europe, so to hell with them. My assignments are highly confidential, so as far as the wife knows, I'm still sitting at a desk. But for some strange reason, I've stopped complaining. Listen up, chaps. The Jerrys have a cozy little setup in this village here. Our job is to break as much equipment as possible, and then dash out before they even know what hit them. Troop B will drive the jeeps behind the Germans and pepper them with machine gun fire. I lead Troop A through town to knock out their communications and burn up their petrol reserves. Carlisle, you're the man with the demolitions. We'll cover you while you set the time to save four charges. We'll have to get in and out before everything becomes all spotlights, sirens, and rifles firing. Cock your guns, wet your sights, and ride on. Let's go!
Seinem Bruder meint, dass es in Russland ziemlich übel läuft.
zugeschossen. Nein, das knockt mal. Oh, get ready, Carlyle. These wires must lead to their communications post.
Once this last charge goes off, Fritz will be completely out of power. All right, get ready to break and ready to dash. Somebody's left some perfectly good landmine line. We'll have to find our way to the petrol depot. Follow me and watch out for more panzers. Watch them! Watch out for more Panzers! Keep them down!
move out! We'll have to find our way to the petrol depot. Follow me and watch out for more pandas.
charges on those peppers.
Navigating the desert like an ocean of sand, you have to know where you're going and have a plan to get in and out as quickly and quietly as possible. We do prefer it when quietly is not required. The one thing that allows us to hit the enemy where it hurts most is our jeeps. They're always loaded with enough fuel, supplies and water to travel 600 miles at a stretch. Although unarmored, they can be heavily armed with two 50 cal MGs firing armor-piercing and incendiary rounds. These make us quick and deadly when we need to be, able to take on German half-tracks and armored cars that outclass us in every other way. Still, this doesn't make up for the fact that you're completely exposed to fire sitting in an open jeep. And you'd better have a damn good driver at the wheel should trouble arise. And it always does, mate. Look alive, Carlisle! I got word on the wireless that some of our old mates from the Long Range Desert Group are lying doggo in an old fortress surrounded by Jerry's. We've got to save them. Those chaps found a shortcut through the desert that leads straight to Rommel's back door. You and I are leading the charge. The rest of the men will catch up with us at the fort. Protect my hide while I refuel the jeep. Keep your eyes peeled. We won't be alone for long. Sniper! Watch that! <laughs> 